James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything, but you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? for you, James. See? I'm real. She's real, is she? See about that. Hey, everybody. Back for Sunday times with some Silent Hill. Ah, no. Bit of a missed time in there. <laughs> One sec, swap the scene over. Ah. <laughs> Oop. Here we go. Uh, test. Arr. Hi. Hi, everybody. You threw the shiny a bit too early there. I'm afraid. Sorry. <laughs> I'm here with friend. Hi, friend. Hello. How are you doing today? You all right? I'm okay. Happy, happy Pokemon Leak Day, everybody. Yeah. Hope, hope you've downloaded something for the occasion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Retro Fire. How's it going? We are continuing our spooky adventures in the hospital. We got through the first bit. We got locked in a locked in a room by that little brat, Laura, and then we got transported to the scary world. So uh. let's 
Get on with it. I'm spooked. Good. You should be. So, this is where, yeah, this is where we left off. Oh, the red bird's going right now. Okay, oh, hey, copper. Okay, good. I'm away from the weird trousers. The weird trousers. As where the lady stripped in the laundromat and was just ca casually there in. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. That's an advert. I was just about to say, copper, are you feeling okay? <laughs> That's an advert, okay. You don't know anything about Silent Hill, do you, Dragon Friend? Nope. I, I, I may have watched someone play a bit of it once. Okay. <laughs> so, so far... I'm just, I'm just gonna keep thinking um, something from Resident Evil is gonna show up. Hmm. Oh, they, they these are very different games to uh, to Silent Hill. It's more a psychological sort of existential kind of thing oh. rather than zombies jumping out at you. Um, oh, you're not okay. You've seen that advert three times today. Oh, yikes. Once I, I can't remember what it was for. I think I got a dishwasher advert like three times in a row. And I'm like, okay, yes, washing machines can live longer with Calgon. Can we please get past this? Um, so to give you a rundown, so this guy, James Sunderland. Hi, James. Yep, yeah, he's come looking for his wife, Mary, who wrote him a letter very recently telling him, I'm in a special place in Silent Hill. Although that might be a bit hard because she's been dead for three years. Okay. But this letter arrived recently saying, come to Silent Hill, I'm waiting for you. And James is just like, nanny. And he decided to... You know, go have a look, but this town likes screwing with people. Hey. And it is letting all of J it, it's it's never really sort of outright explained that like the town is supposed to be like a sort of representation of James's sort of hang ups and phobias and hatred things and all this other stuff, so there's a, obviously ah, okay. a hospital, you know, not the not the greatest of places. Obviously, you don't really want to be in there. You have to be, and uh, yeah, the little girl who might know more as to Mary's whereabouts ran in the hospital, Laura, and we are now here, kind of looking for a way out because things have gone a bit things have things have gone south, let's say, and you're pretty much caught up to speed at this point. Um, there's the photo of Mary. Got a radio that tells us where, if any enemies are about, which we'll probably bump into in a little bit. And yeah, we have a whole thing to explore. Oh, and expect many broken locks. Like it, this one. This lock is broken. Mm -hmm. You will be lurking for a bit, swipe, swiping leaves off the roof. Fair enough. Okay. Oh yeah, it's autumn time, isn't it? Are the movies worth watching? Uh, I would say the first one is definitely worth watching. First one's good. Second one I've never seen, so I don't know. And yeah, all right, let's let's get on with it. Right. So I do prefer the PlayStation Two version over any other version out there. It just has the best. Has the best presentation of the bunch, I feel. Ooh, actually, this is early, but I'll be back in a minute. I just need to go get a drink. Okay. Yeah, definitely check out the first movie, Copper. Let's get out of here. Don't really want to go on the lift just yet. Shut. Nope. 
smashy smashy. smashing that glass. Drinking some bullets. Good, good, good. I might get a good chuckle out of this. I saw a rar uwu so kawaii pyramid head at a fan expo this year. <sighs> you did, did you really? <laughs> I found the cable. Hey, third player. I'm playing on a different PS2 this time. Yep, thing for everybody out there, do not play Silent Hill 2 or 3 on a 50,000 model PlayStation 2. Play it on either a 30,000 or a 70,000. Which one's my map button? Bay third player, how's it going? How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Examining room. out here. Or maybe we're not. <laughs> I'll have to send me a picture of what you saw, Copper, if one exists. Doing better, cold is over, still feeling ill. Oh man, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. A whole lot of people are falling sick recently. And I'm always quick to blame the second moon that we have right now. So weird so different it was a fully oh it was a cosplay all right that's funny i thought you meant like a little model or something but an actual full-on cosplay that's kind of funny also sorry you heard me <laughs> you heard me cringing <laughs> all right up we go at the <laughs> I said it before and I'll say it again why are you nurses so crunchy you finished the remake you loved the gameplay but hated the story and cutscenes oh it has been sent to my Discord. Cool, thank you. I will check that out now, actually. Oh my goodness. Oh, I see. Huh? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Very good. Feel free to post those links in chat if you like. You think you prefer this interpretation of the characters? Yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? The developers, they're going to have their own take on things while staying particularly close to the source material. It's fine, yeah. There's no wrong version of Silent Hill 8 2, I guess. I'll be interested to play the remake myself. Everyone's playing it at the moment, it feels like. That and a game called Metaphor. But I don't know what it is about the old... Ooh, I don't know what it is about the old style... Tank control... Semi-fixed camera-y sort of nature of these games. I don't know what it is. I just really, really like them. I do get the urge to play Resident Evil, the classic ones, every so often. Just because 
So that is sort of a unique, it's a unique style that was of the time, but like people moved away from it, but I just really like them for some reason. It's, I suppose that's why it's so many people still play those classic games and speed run them to death and all this other stuff. Like speed runs of the original classic Resident Evil are still so popular because they're just good games. They hold up remarkably well. There's a piece of paper on the bed. I was locked up inside the basement's basement. It was so small and dark and I was so afraid. I dropped my precious ring, but I will never, ever go back there. Brad. Yeah. Hi. Hello. A dry cell battery. And a basement storeroom key. All right. We're in the, uh, in the hospital. We're wandering around. Ah, uh, a key. Aha, uh -huh, a key. I think they missed the mark. Characters now openly and front center display their traumas. It's not subtle, it's on the nose now. Hmm. Fair enough. Like I say, it's. Yeah. Plus, I had the, the game's a lot longer as well. They padded out some things quite a bit. A um, whole lot of areas. So, some really small areas in the original got like complete redos over. Um, which is interesting. So we're just talking about the remake because the remake of this game came out recently. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. What's in here? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I kind of just casually stood there going, just going to check the guns to load in, that's fine. Yeah, that was my fault. I should have probably... Oh, gee, yeah. Uh, let's... Okay. Oh, I've got so many... So many bullets. Okay. Have at thee! <laughs> oh! There's only one in here now. Where'd the other one go? They're dead. I, I recognize the character now. I, I, re I remember him from a meme. <laughs> okay. What meme I just is that? remember seeing. See, I just remember seeing a meme where it's his face, and it says, "Hi, my name's James, but you can call me James. It's short for James." <laughs> All right. I don't know any context with that, but I remember that was a thing. Can't see how it relates to the game. So, it, it, it's yeah. a it's a meme. Just a meme. It doesn't have to relate to shit. <laughs> I am curious as to where that other nurse went, though. Eh. I don't know if I can since I have them as actual images on my phone. I think what you can do... Discord is quite good about this, actually. If you click on the images you just sent me, and then if you click Open in Browser, you should be able to take oh, that yeah. browser yes. link and just post it anywhere, and it should just work. Isn't technology wonderful? Hmm. Aren't these app designers wonderful? What's in here? We're on the second floor now. That and the atmosphere, like... I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Like, nothing really matches the atmosphere of this game. Hmm. Like, once you get a good pair of headphones on and you just lose yourself in this atmosphere, it's just like... It's so good. Things change. Stuff happens. Subtle sound things alter that when you're really paying attention, you notice it's just really good. Uh. Okay, what's in here? That and the lighting. Never seen lighting anything like this in a game. You can see, you see the shadows as I walk past that the, these two pillars. It's like mm. this, this, this shit was mind blowing back then. Not so much now, obviously. You'd think that worked. And let's have a look. <laughs> I'm going to guess by uh, Doug Friend's giggle there. That, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> Something that looks like a refrigerator. Will I open it? It's Indiana Jones. <laughs> no. 
Too heavy. Hmm. It's no good. Door is too heavy to open by myself. Well, we will remember that. No going out. Check the old map. Have I covered every door on this floor? I have. All right. Time for floor three. Oh, that's oh, that's a nice ding. I like that <laughs> noise. I do like some good sound effects. Oh, this game is absolutely full of them. No, I, I've not been able to identify any stock sound effects in this game, which is good. Okay. Let's see, floor number three. Sorry, just firing up a game that I'll be working on in the background. That's, uh, that's a noise. How about they? <laughs> hey, Wolf, I'm back. How's it going? Thank you for the bits. Locked door. It's a painting of a woman on the door. Oddly enough, the hand part of the painting is actually 3D and sticks out. Oh, I should have mem mentioned also, there's a lady in red wandering around called Maria. She's Maria. Maria. Yeah, she's she's helping us. We met her in Rosewater Park, and she's oh, okay. she's tagging along with us because she hasn't really got yeah, no, nothing else to do, uh, and not got a safe way out or anything. So she's being dragged along with us. She keeps going missing, keeps getting tired. We've currently lost her again. She might turn up at some point. This is a lot of rooms. A lot of rooms you can't get in. Yeah. Hey, look, nothing. Okay. Scrap of paper on the on the ground. It's on the bed. Never mind. So that's not, that's not on the ground. Just some doodle. Huh? Something's written on it. She is an angel. No one knows. Only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sin, she devours them. Sinner and sin. Alike, she saves me. She is an angel. Punctuation is important. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, there's... There have been a few writings from people. I mean, this is this is a hospital, and there are obviously some very unwell people here. And uh, yeah, we've read some things. Uh oh, be loud! Finish your horror games for the week. Still going to play Silent Hill 2 as well, starting tomorrow. Are you playing the original or the remake? The remake, okay. Fair enough. Even the original game's developer was praising some aspects of the remake, which I understand that some people absolutely hate but <laughs> people be people there are empty medicine bottles here is this what Maria was taking is Maria sick now too Some breathing. I'm gonna say that that kind of threw me off. 
Yeah, that's the room we left her in, in the... the... normal hospital world. But this is the evil hospital world now, so she's obviously not there. Thank you, Kata. How are you doing, Kata? Newly promoted VIP. How are you doing? I'm gonna bash you with a pipe. What? I'm gonna bash you with a pipe. I, I thought you were talking to Kata then. No! I wouldn't bash Kata with a pipe. Hey. Welcome, Kata. I'm gonna bash you with a pipe. Two games in a row where you're beating things up with a pipe. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's a quote. That is what you said. That is technically what I said. Need to read that yet if that is true. Oh sorry, what's that third player? Oh sorry, let me scroll up a bit. The thing that you said about the um, remake. What did I say? I forget now. The, the creator of the original and the remake and something. Oh yeah, the director said um, some aspects of the remake were done really well. Like, I think I think mainly he was praising the camera. Because the camera in this isn't the best. <laughs> um, so, I think he was praising that aspect of things. And some other things, but I didn't really read too much into what he said. It was just something that I saw making the rounds. He found some older article. Ah, okay. Hey, you're okay. You too? Uh, I'm okay, thank you. Like, like I say, doing doing as best I personally can before my operation, but uh, yeah, all right. Gotta say, oh, gotta say, never someone posted an Agent Mulder version of Angela. I can't see it. Agent Mulder. Oh, the, the the character from X-Files. Ah, that one, yes, I was thinking that. Spike and Mulder. Is it Spike and Mulder? No. Fox. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. oh Mulder and Scully. Mulder, right. Spike. I, thought, I knew it began with S. I forgot. That, that's because of my uh, presentation earlier on. <laughs> got Spike on the mind. Mm -hmm. He's happy about it, so that's good enough for me. Wait, there's finally a David De Ho Duchovny face mod for Angela? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, I saw somebody took out Pyramid Head and modded in Thomas the Tank Engine, because of course they did. DM'd me so you can see what you mean. Okay. Let me check. Also, feel free to share any Discord links you said. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> what, that what? looks so funny. Oh my god. Feel f No, I won't be able to unsee that now. Feel free to post a link to that image in chat. Welcome back. That's really funny. Oh no. <laughs> I'm scared. You haven't seen this character yet, so it might be a bit lost on you. But anybody who knows the character, it's from this game. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, we can go down now. <laughs> it's very funny. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> oh, that tickled me on my funny bone. Oh, darn it. You're in the game, ASAP. Silly dragon. <laughs> Down we go. I'm sure the other floors will be completely fine. Oh, okay. Well, never mind on that one. What about the first floor? No. that noise <laughs> basement storeroom bullets 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 lying all around this hospital when you said give me a shot that's not what I meant character in the remake again in my mind is like yeah just look like David mm -hmm. I hate a new face so much didn't want to wait but as they did played through the remake I know the 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 models of the characters have been a bit sort of contentious I don't personally care but some people really seem to there's a shelf here there are red handprints on the shelf move the shelf no James! Mary? Oh, Maria. It's you. I thought you were... Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. <laughs> so, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but... She ran away. We've got to find her. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. Well, got Maria back. And we got a ring for our trouble. Yay. Copper ring. You, you got a ring. That was the note that was on the table. They lost their ring, but they will never, ever, ever go down there again. Down's now. Hello, squeaky friend, are you still here? <laughs> ah. So that's a yes then. Oh, I guess I might be able to open that fridge now I've got Maria's help. Uh, which floor am I on? <laughs> Literally lost track of where I am. Uh, not. Is it this floor? I think I need to go up one more. So I feel like I'm less help with this one than I was yesterday. Oh, well, that's fine. I have no idea what's going on. Hmm. 
good? I think we good. Because today you've been playing Healer in Final Fantasy XIV. Your tank decided to go to Piccolo's School of Dodge, meaning he never avoids attacks. Oh. Oh, Piccolo from Dragon Ball, right. Oh boy! It's lift time. Ding. Ah, my pizza is done. <laughs> Everybody listen carefully now. exactly what it sounded like. What happened? So we have a we're, we're in a we're in a game show now. That was a thing. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to um get you to press the buttons on the lift. No, he said head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect my prizes once I have all the answers. Oh, okay. In time to feel old. Even this announcer is better than the remake. Today, Uncharted 2 turns 15 years old. Oh, ouch. Ouch. Actually, I've not played an Uncharted game. Are they good? I know everyone was talking about Uncharted 4 a lot, but uh, never played one myself. I'm going to assume they're good. They're made by Naughty Dog. I'm going to I'm going to assume they're pretty good. What was the thing I saw yesterday? Yesterday? Hang on. Um, what's the date today? 13th. Okay. Yeah. There was someone who said, uh, Happy October the 10th. Because 
tons of stuff came out on October the 10th. Okay. Um, uh, Doom 2, 1994. Doom 2 was September 30th, 1994. Uh, maybe that's a different region then. Um, oh, maybe, yeah. Team Fortress 2, 2007. Oh, God. Yeah, that sounds about right. Fallout 1997. And then at the oh. end it says... My Little Pony Friendship is Magic 2010. Because <laughs> uh, it was 10 10 10. 10 10 10, right. Hmm. Let's open this fridge. You can't open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? <laughs> What's this? Not very cute, is it? Here, James. You take it. Mm, thanks. Lettering. I'm not sure I like her. <laughs> There's nothing more in the refrigerator. There's nothing in the refrigerator anymore. A hideous smell is coming from inside. Oh, God. We found last month's yogurt. Mmm, bodies. Mm. Wait, no. They're fun story-driven games? All right. Fair enough. I do like me some story-driven games. Hey, Mal. Afternoon. How is your, how's your Canadian Thanksgiving going? Or early Canadian Thanksgiving? Ding. 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 Fries are done. Our pockets are ready. Third floor. You're baking right now. We'll be having dinner in five hours. Nice. What are you having? What do you normally serve at a traditional Canadian Thanksgiving? Is it like turkey <laughs> stuff? Like, I don't know. I don't know if, how different it is from America. Turkey and ham. <clears throat> and or ham. Steamed hams. <laughs> Alright, well, we're near the storeroom on the third floor, so let's work out the answers to that uh, the whole thing. So, question one was what was the name of the amusement park? So we can find that out on the map, I think, when I find the right map. There we go. So the answer to question one is Lakeside Amusement Park, which was number three. The answer to question, ah. the answer to question number three, what is the name of the Northwest Road, Nathan Avenue? That's the Northwest Road. So the answer to question Helps. number three is three. Helps to have a map. Evening, my lord. Now, where do I find my readables? Same as American Thanksgiving food, really. Okay. Let's check our memos. Uh, I think it was... Was it newspaper? Wall scratches? Article about murder incidents. Here we go. There we go, there's the chicken. Police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month, for the brutal murder of Billy Locaine and his sister Miriam. So the answer to question number two is what? You did it. So we have 313 as our answer. The fun thing about this is I've never gotten this wrong. And I've never seen what the result is if you actually get it wrong. You die. Maybe. Maybe you get attacked. I don't know, and I legit like keeping it a secret from my own mind just as to what happens. Oh. So it was. Three. One. Right. 
You did it. Goodies, goodies, goodies. They ask you the name of the victims. Not the murder in the remake, but they don't include they don't include the newspaper as a readable object. Ask you the name of the oh. I suppose you learn the name of the victims from somewhere else then. So I'm just trying to think now. Where am I? Where's my destination? Oh yes. Yeah, so Wherever you go, there you are. Yep. That tends to happen. I think it's a bug. Oh, they also missed highlighting a few save points on the map. Yeah, I'm all about like giving games like one or two patches to get sorted out. Um, and then giving them a go. Sometimes things just can't be fixed before release. And sometimes the devs genuinely need a whole load of eyes on issues because some issues you just don't catch. Okay. So we got a copper ring and we got a lead ring. Let's go use them. Oh. So I must be getting tired. It's all right. I'm just finishing off a few loose ends on um, Pokemon Legends, and I just threw a Pokeball at a lump of iron. <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to do. Mm, yeah, you might struggle with that. <laughs> Copper ring. I found the ring of the, found it in the basement of the hospital. It's engraved with a picture of a spider. Ooh, spider from the refrigerator. It is engraved with the disgusting, bloated face. Lovely. I put the copper ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. And, and the lead ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. Shift yourself. There's a note on the ground. Inside is some kind of hard to read writing. I took the director's key, the one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I oh, it actually says museum. <laughs> mm -hmm. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. Run! Come on, Maria! Run!
Phillips. Where he is dead. You okay? She might be alright. They're both her. She'll walk it off. We're terrible people. <laughs> <laughs> He who is not bold enough to be stared from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. Truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. Here's a letter and a wrench. What? <laughs> Thank you? Put them onto the map. And now I can leave. That was the girl we were chasing earlier. Well, books about medicine. The town region are lined up here. I don't have time to stand around reading all this. That's a mood. Who wants to read books? Books are silly. There's a book in the game, oh wait. <laughs> oh. Poor Maria. This is not a Fallout game. I did not ask for Maria on a stick. <laughs> Outside we go. Oh, it's dark outside now. Maria's dead. I couldn't protect her. Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Laura's run off somewhere. Mary, what... what should I do? Are you really waiting somewhere for me? Or is this your way of taking? I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. Okay. Let's get our... let's get our bearings here. I don't think I can go back up through Heaven's Night. Actually, I don't think I've ever tried. Let's try it, see what happens. Yeah. No, thank you, not today. This is Crunchy Nurse. Actually, yeah, done this. I'm gonna guess the lock's broken, though. <laughs> locks are broken. Yay! Nice. Powerful kick. Ooh, bullets. <laughs> I'm glad I glad I did that now. 
Oh yeah, you find stuff all over the place. Kind of got to keep your eye out on the dark because what James will do is normally he'll look at stuff and that's how you can mm -hmm. tell, ooh, there's something interesting in the area, but it is kind of dark and I can't see his head very well, so it's down to me to search for things now. Yo. How's it, go How's it going? I may have to head off after your first ad break. Okie doke. Sorry. Getting tired. Uh, a little bit and uh, I should probably stop by the shop and get something before it shuts. Oh, okay. That's fair. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> you dealing with that shit. That's the spirit. <laughs> nah, I did, did, yeah. Right in a moment, you will be missed. Nah. Ooh. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. Goodies. Rare. Health drink. Health drinks are apparently a thing in Japan. Yes. Not so much everywhere else. I mean,. I don't know, you get you get branded yogurt drinks and stuff, but actual health drinks? Not a thing. Apparently it tastes like cough medicine. Speaking oh, of Doug, I, I, I feel I should probably share the thing in the chat before I go. Uh, it's so crunchy. There you go, friends. If anyone missed it. What's that? It's, it's my rare. Oh, right, I see. Yeah. Bit of self-promotion before I go, it's fine. <laughs> Running. Oh my god, where am I? Oh, I'm going this way, okay. Oh, copy, you've already seen it. It's it's the uh, Fur One Blue Sky, don't worry. Can I pet him? I, I don't know because the dragon's not a him. Bullets. That's uh, fine. <laughs> right, right, right. I'm just a dragon. <laughs> okay. The way I'm supposed to be going is. Is it this way? We're on Cat Street. Soul Street. Cat. Better call Soul Street. Oh. Cat Street. Meow. There is a cat street somewhere. Oh, Damn this man. is the door. Is this the door? Oh. Can I keep the dragon? Absolutely not. N <laughs> no. I, I can be IRL dragon now. Haha. Mm -hmm. And cause chaos. I woke up today and deliberately chose to make problems. Yes. I identify as a problem. <laughs> oh, hi there. What if someone hoards dragons? No. Oh, God, I nearly ran down a hole. I'll do that.
Got on PS2 disc drive, you can do it. Oh, we're back near the apartments, aren't we? Need to um, need to play a Dreamcast game at some point and then put the microphone next to the, the console. <laughs> I love the old school sound of Dreamcast disc drives. Oh yeah, it's great. You know when um, so when I helped out on Sega Racing. Yes. And um, one of them turns into like a, the secret character and turns into a speedboat that looks like a Dreamcast. <laughs> controller mm -hmm. um they actually got a dreamcast in and manually recorded it buzzing and whirring and used those as the sound effects brilliant there's a memo on the sofa i'll wait at bar neely's oh we already read that one oh well we have ad break starting now actually so oh no okay yeah. It's, Bye, friends. Yeah. Bye, Dragon rare, Friend. Rare, rare, thanks, rare, 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 rare. thanks very much for the the company tonight, albeit short. Yeah, it's, 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 it's okay. Okay, right. We'll be back in... Well, I'll be back in two minutes after a little break. See you in a bit, chat. Right. Just me now. Dragon friend has disappeared. Oh, Loki Mal, by the way. Yes, I, I do kind of hold dragons when people come over to my house. And like, You've got a lot of dragons here. And I'm like, yes. Any other questions? I need more shelves. Why? To put more dragons on. Right. Map time. Barnealy's. Okay. Barnealy's is just up the road. Oh, yeah, 
This sounds like the old Silent Hill. You're holding a dragon. I just think they're neat. Legs. <laughs> Firm step. I was going to ask what you were having. Microwavable rice and sauce. Fair enough. There was a hole here. It's gone now. If you really want to see Mary, you should just die. But you might be heading to a different place than Mary, James. to fill the stomach at all. It's the second time you eat today. No, fair. Fair enough. If there's so many dragons, I should bag a dragon like that DM you just gave me. Oh, okay. Hang on. To <laughs> hit. Crunching. Get to the ooh, get to the Mexican restaurant, yes please. Very close, I can't see you. You walking away from me? be dead. I need Mexican food open up. I 
know which 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 door is it? you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. A part of that abyss is in the old society. The key to the society is in the park, at the foot of the praying woman, inside of the ground, inside of a box. To open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it there. I knew, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the museum was sealed as well. Now no one dares to approach that place. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. straight for three blocks. some practicing with the old combat. Dab move. Yeah, there is a sort of lunge, isn't there? Yeah, how to how to do it consistently though. Maybe it's contextual. Maybe James only does it when there's an enemy nearby. the stab consistently. Thank <laughs> you. 
go this door. The door that wakes in darkness, opening into nightmares. Shortcut through. Okay. I'm going. Oh, is there anything at the end of Cat Street? I forget. Let's go have a look. Oh, hello. You were closer than I thought. Goodies. Not that I'm already overflowing with goodies, but are there any more? Oh, I see something. It was just a sticky up a bit on a car. Disappointing. I thought there would have been like a health drink or something. <laughs> Stairs, maybe? Nah. Oh, what a shame. Quick sticks, taking two. Oh, this is the motel area, isn't it? Nothing around here either. Wait, 
Wish I had James's stamina some days. The guy can run for days. Never left. What happened? My internet connection drop or something? Crunchy, crispy, squelchy. Bullets. Be right back screen for 10 minutes on your end. Oh, yeah, not sure what that was about. Sorry, Kind of. Oh, okay. Are ampules things that exist in real life? That's how you pronounce it. Okay, I've come too far. I'm going completely the wrong way. Your syringes, or rather, you put the syringe in to get fluid. In. Oh, oh, one of those. Okay. Tell me the answer. Because it just suck whatever is inside out. Fair. Where's the statue? Yep, here we are. Persecution of something. And for Carol. Ground is raised up only here. Could there be something under here? Will I dig? Diggy 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 hole. <laughs> ah! Thank you, Mal. Use the wrench. Got the old bronze key. Should heal up. Would I like some company in this dark, dark town? Sure, if you like. Yo! Boo. Ah! My god. Don't do that. 
How's it going? You're supposed to be the uh, you're supposed to be the undead monster here. I am the vampire dragon. How's it going? How you doing? Uh, good, good. Just relaxing before dinner in a couple hours. Nice. No, things have been pretty normal for us in Canada. It's pretty much exactly the same. Just the reason I think I explained it. The reason it's different time than Americans is we actually celebrate the harvest. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Ooh. I'm not gonna bag him, wolf him back. That's not actually a good thing with you to cats, what that guy did to that cat. <laughs> no, it's not actually good. Yep. That said, say like he's in a kitten, so I can totally bag him. Okay, I'll just eat this garlic bread over here. Yeah, I'll, mm, mm, mm. yeah just uh, just over there. And chase it with uh, some holy water. Oh, well, that's that sounds unsanitary. <laughs> Crunchiness is where are you? There you are. totally don't have to fight these things it's just fun to fight them oh yeah like you can just skip everything there's the fun in that i understand the monsters are a bit more livelier in the remake everything's livelier when it has a budget <laughs> and more bits bits more bits, bits and bobs Ahead of us. Yeah, I think I said this, but I played all the Silent Hill games back in 2019 for Halloween. Like oh, one nice. to four. One straight through four, nice. How was the experience yeah. playing all four of them back to back? It was great. It was really, really good. Like, I knew about the games and I saw, I knew about a lot of the story beats, but you know, like actually playing them. It oh, was really, really cool. Some of them you played for the first time? Oh, I played them all for the first time. Oh, I see. Yeah. That must have been quite something. It was. I bet the I bet the transition from three to four was a bit sort of, whoa, this is quite different. It was, but uh, I still re enjoyed and respected it. Well, Silent Hill falls great. I don't care what anybody says. It's reminiscent of uh, back in 2016. I never played classic Resident Evil mm -hmm. 1, 2, and 3, so I just played them, the PlayStation version. First time. I kind of treated it like that. Yeah, fair. Step on just to make and, sure. And people love watching someone play for the first time, you know? Yes, I love watching people play through the classics for the first time. Yeah. I had a friend do that recently. I have a friend who recently moved to America. And they played through Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3 for the first time. Very recently. Ooh. And I was there just to... We, we had a code word. The code word was banana. And every time banana was uh, mentioned... I would come across not with telling them exactly what to do, but just to provide a hint. And I'm well seasoned enough to know how to drop a hint in the game without actively spoiling yeah. things. It's it's like you know, there's an art to that. I know about that too. Like, you want to help out, but you don't want to make it too obvious. Yeah, exactly. You want to nudge them without, well, you want to make them still feel like they're smart, like they figure it out. Yep. Trust me, that's something I had to learn because I used to be very, very blunt <laughs> about uh, these things. For the most people, going different too far equals bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I have more of an open mind about things these days. It's like, well, if it, if this is 
absolutely horrendously bad. It's not going to affect my appreciation of the original. And if it's I have good, a question, Salek. Yeah. Do you plan to try any other uh, Castlevania game out? Oh, absolutely. All right. Yeah, you just need a little breather after playing one. <laughs> yes. Oh man, get sticked. I'll take pictures of supper this evening, I'll show ya. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we got turkey and everything, and uh, they're making ham this year, so it's like hell yeah. Oh my goodness. Lay's ham. That does sound very nice. Pretty sure you guys have awesome meals that we don't get over there. Um, genuinely trying to think of one now, and I can't think of anything off the top of my head. <laughs> Silent Hill Historical oh, Society. We don't really. I remember this place. We don't. Yeah, we don't really give thanks or anything. Like in Britain, we just well, have. A, I know. I mean, we, besides that, you know, like not Thanksgivings per se, but yeah. I mean, I imagine you have a good Christmas dinner, right? Yeah, although I don't think it really differs from many other places. Christmas dinner, we have we have turkey right. and the veggies and all that stuff, so it's not that different. Um, but the nice sort of holidays that you guys maybe have or other countries have, we don't have. In Britain, we have a be miserable day. Happy be miserable day, you're in Britain. Old Bronski. <laughs> Finish cleaning the roof of leaves and poo. Good. Ah, uh, the historical society. Ah, uh, I just found out something shitty. Oh, uh, what's that? My friend uh, was going to get his friend into Ragnarok online because they used to play that back in the day. Play yeah. with us. He can't play with us because this. This version of Ragnarok, ooh, that painting looks iconic. That, yeah, that painting looks like something, doesn't it? Photo is hanging here. Wilt's coal mine. Let's go look at the picture. Yeah. Misty Day remains of the judgment. It's him. There's only one thing the creator of the series, the game, says that he kind of regrets creating Pyramid Head because of how oversaturated he was later on, you know? Well, but, yeah. yeah, I mean, for people who don't understand the story of this game, like, this guy is only supposed yeah. to be in this game. Like, they didn't bring him back in 2 and 3, uh, sorry, in 3 and 4 for a reason. It's because this guy is central to James's story, but the executives over at Konami and perhaps people who... Actually, I don't know if Copper's here. I don't know if I should say or not. I'll just leave it at the, I'll I'll leave it at just the games, but uh, just yeah, they don't understand that he's only supposed to be a part. He of even this came game. back in like the arcade game, and that was made by Konami Japan. Yeah, it's just you're under orders, do the thing, but it doesn't really People make like any him. sense. Yeah, although yeah, they just kind of maybe don't understand. There's a painting missing here. Used to be a painting here, only the explanation remains. Waterfront landscape. Alan Smith, date of birth and death unknown. Seen from the area from long ago. From the style, it looks like it, it was done sometime around 1820. There were a lot fewer people then, and only a handful of buildings. Nope. No particular interest. So yeah, that everyone was like, oh, let's bring back Pyramid Head. He was an iconic thing of Silent Hill. Yes. He is, but not in the way that you execs think. Go on then, let's save. It's been a bit. <laughs> I do like in the remake how they make, they put James's face on these tablets. Yeah. But it is a real sort of camera 
view of James's face. It's not a static image. It's like if if the red tablet or whatever this thing is is down on the table, then he will be looking yeah. down at the table. Or if it's high up, he'll be looking high up at him. That's kind of a neat little touch, I think. That's why I can't wait because Boundary Breaks is probably like he already kind of did a short on it. There's going to totally do an episode where like he probably looks at the camera of that, you know? Yeah. I think people are going to you know find about some ba- interesting things. Have you heard about Boundary Break before? Oh, where people go outside of where they're supposed to go? Yeah. It's a YouTube channel. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, he's all about like just doing that with all the games. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you'll find some interesting things. Here we go. In particular, special about this photograph. <laughs> Nothing useful written. A photo is hanging here. Brookhaven Hospital, 1880. This hospital was built in response to the Great Plague that followed a wave of immigration to this area. It was originally little more than a shack, but it gradually grew and grew. Photo of the director of the old Brookhaven Hospital. Looks like he was a famous person in town. There's a photo of a deep, deep hole. What could this be? It's symbolic. Uh, how about something to make you laugh while you pass the time? <laughs> Walking down. So someone went through like a uh, Nintendo legal FAQ. Oh, right. People make Nintendo emulators, Nintendo ROMs, are helping publishers by making old games available and no longer being sold by copyright owners. This does not hurt anyone that allows the gamer to play old favorites. What's the problem? The problem is that it is, is illegal. So I am aware of the great, the great game freak leak of 2024. Yeah. Yeah. Me, me and Lucas, we were going over it before the stream. And there are some very funny things inside there. Like there's, there's one line that says something like Nintendo is exempt from this. Like, Oh, Nintendo thinks they're above the law. Do they? That's kind of interesting. But, uh, them going, the problems of this is illegal. Reminded me of uh, remember Street Fighter versus Tekken and the on this DLC debacle? No. When Street Fighter versus Te- X Tekken came out ten years ago, people found out all the DLC was already on the disc, and you still had to pay for it. Yeah, brilliant. The thing is, mm-hmm. and like this was a big deal. It, it hurt like Capcom very, very hard back then. But, uh, like, when when Capcom, like, before the game released, like, when Capcom America was, like, found out about this, they were like, you can't do this. Every 360, 360 game gets cracked on day one, and they'll find it. You know what Capcom Japan said to them? What? Why would they do that? It's illegal. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Capcom. But that's also just kind of a Japanese mindset, you know? Sometimes execs are so behind the times. It's funny. They're so not clued in as to what the industry is actually doing. But the thing is, they told, like, Capcom America, like, you need to get this off. And they said, well, if they do that, it's going to push it out of the fiscal year. (laughs) Which, you know, we have to release in the fiscal year. Absolutely. And then they got in a big debacle. It's like, yeah, you're screwed either way. It's really cool they physically move James in front of the red square and he actually stands in front of it. All rendered real time. Yeah. That was a cool little touch. Oh, yeah. Just check out the Boundary Breaks uh, videos sometime. They're really, really cool and informative. I'll send you a link to his YouTube channel. Excuse me, I'm trying to have a conversation with the dragon. <laughs> so rude. I 
I wonder how they did this whole section, you know? In the remake? Actually, he did... No, in the original. Oh, it's probably just one long staircase. Well, actually, I'm gonna check, because he did do an episode on Silent Hill 2. The original. Some kind of document lying here. September 11th, 1820. Prisoner number C221. Can't read the rest. What is this? Okay, so here's a... You know the start of the game when James is literally in the bathroom and you can see his reflection? Yes. They literally rendered a second James and a second person in the bathroom all reversed. Yep, that's usually how they do it. It's not a real reflection because... Ironically, that can be too pros that can be too processor heavy. So, what's cheaper? Just mirror everything, match the controls, and that's your reflection. I think they did it in Mario sixty four as well, and they sometimes still repeat that technique. It's called cool, the trickery they use. Oh. Hi. Happy dance. I don't think I missed a map. I'm gonna go back and check. playing around was there that I foolishly bypassed. I don't think so. Hey. You've you've earned you've earned shotgun for this. She should be so special. Take this. <laughs> Get. So I got to the point of the video. Yeah, it was just a stupidly long staircase. <laughs> just all rendered. Oh, well, there's a hole there. The hole's dark and I can't see anything. Will you jump down? Yes. James is a dragon, right? He's got wings, right? Even worse. That's the only time I'm going to do that, I promise. Worse. <laughs> You're still the worst. I have to do this. <laughs> Just a wall. It'd be impossible to climb this. Huh? 
This is different. Just this spot here feels different than a normal wall. I wonder if I could somehow break it. Shroom is another mirrored trick. Hey! Hi, Drake. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Hey, Lucas. Back from the shop. Hey, Lucas. Look at Lucas being adorable. <laughs> also, we're in one of the scariest parts of the game. Oh boy, this this area is a trip. Oh, it is. I actually love when I do this, when I do this part. Yeah. Did you like scary stuff when you were younger? I enjoyed watching my dad play them. <laughs> I was complete wimp with horror and anything scary until college. <laughs> I was too scared to even watch Resident Evil. Hmm. The zombie scared me. Well, yeah, I can handle House of the Dead. <laughs> Nowadays, I love this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. I can enjoy this, no problem. There's a lock. There's a door at the bottom. The door is locked. Just a key there. Yeah. Got the Spyro writing key. It's Spyro. You look, there's a little keychain of a purple dragon. <laughs> I press the switch, but nothing happens. Oh my. The battery, uh -oh. the ba the battery on my thing has died. Just an ordinary dry cell battery. Oops. I think of that. Looks like the same type of battery as the flashlight. Oh no! Uh. Full of bugs. Lo Yo, legit, James. <laughs> uh, seven, nine, five. Oh my God! I got it first time. Look at that natural dragon luck. I legit. That's. I think that's random every time. So, I got lucky. What else is there in here? Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't have a 
map, do I? Key with slim 3 inch long cylinder attached. The cylinder is engraved with spiral writing. It says, Tis doubt which leadeth thee to purgatory. You shall be immediately fall down. <laughs> it's black beyond the door. I can't tell how far the blackness stretches. Will you go down? Really, James? Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head. Pow. You, you killed him? But, but, but it wasn't my fault. He, he made me do it. Calm down, Eddie. Tell me what happened. That guy, he, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie, you can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now, I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie? <laughs> I was just joking, James. He was dead when I got here, honest. Anyway, I gotta run. You're going out there alone? Yeah. Eddie! He'll be fine. He seems of a sound mind. It's a corpse. The body is marked with bullet holes. I'm laughing because someone took the the remake, got rid of the fog. It just looks like gray and rainy. It's like Silent Hill without the fog, remake without the fog. It's just an average day in the UK. <laughs> Not wrong. Got the tablet of the gluttonous pig. Game, you're so mean. Follow Eddie, I guess. Who's the all these damn locks that are broken this town? This town needs a locksmith and desperately. Watch, well, they get the one from Thank Goodness You're Here, who's just pissed drunk. <laughs> Documents on the desk. They've got nothing to do with me, though. Blackboard, whatever was written on it, is all faded and I can't read it. Oh. Bullets. Oh, 
yeah. Here's a fun fact about Eddie. In the initial stages of the scenario, Eddie... Oh! Ah, Jesus. Eddie was actually a very cheerful character. Therefore, his name was borrowed from Eddie Murphy. Oh. In the end, however, his... We completely changed his personality. That's about right. I'm a hydrate. out there. I got a wax doll. Books are scattered all over the bed and floor. Black magic from the abyss. Resurrection of the dead. The Chronicle of Agrippa. Manuscript of the Iron Rings. I guess I shouldn't worry too much about these. <laughs> Ritual. You, you. Ritual. Play that again. Mm -hmm. I dare you. Ah. Ritual. The atmosphere of this game masterful, you know? It's really. Uh. <laughs> I can say that really hasn't been a game that's come out with atmosphere like this, I think. Just as good. And it only just. The sequel. Gets, it really, only, you know? Yeah, it only just kind of keeps going. Just hearing the music, you just hear keep on hearing a door slamming in the background. <laughs> I'm actually kinda of getting chills from this music again. <laughs> here. Burning Man. Four hundred and thirty six people at a recital. Game's really accounting. <laughs> I don't think you can actually see it. Yeah, it would be just like them, just, you know. Anyway, we have an ad break. So we'll be back in hey. two minutes. I will leave you with the soothing footsteps and the voice. Back in a sec. Stop it. Mm.
Ah. Hey, we're back. Uh, I just appreciate this type of horror we had now. Yeah. Like uh, we have like back then, you know? This is the fact that, you know, it's, 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 it's in the next cell and everything. <laughs> Tablet of the Oppressor. Magazines here. Thing of particular interest. Very boring in this cell. Nothing's going on. Absolutely nothing. It's all. Hey, Cat says hello, intern Dirk. Uh. Can't get out. Yeah, just the fact that there's just something in here, you can't deal with it, you just have to listen to it. Why is it there? To be a fucking unsettling. Have fun with that. To screw with your brain. Yeah. Oh, I never did find a map of this place, did I? Oh, there's one. What was cool at the time as well is you could leave an area and come back and the things you shot and killed would still be there. Yeah. Me and my dad, we used to always make jokes about how somebody was cleaning up the bodies behind us as we were moving <laughs> through games. Yeah. This was one of those games where that didn't happen. It was quite cool. At the time. They had enough memory to keep the stuff out there. Yeah. All about their megabytes. Yeah. It's just crazy with the PS2 offered so much more, you know? It was such a big improvement and just offered way more for developers. Oh, going from the PS1 to the PS2 was insane. Yeah. I want to check out... Ooh. That middle section, I think. I'm, I'm checking out the Konami store. You can get a, pit, a, a puzzle of the Misty Day picture. The, the Pyramid Head one. Oh, really? Thousand Piece Puzzle. Yeah, Thousand Piece Puzzle. Cool. You can also get James's jacket there. 150 bucks. Not bad, actually. <laughs> oh, damn it. The Tablet of the Seductress. James, why is there a dragon with boobs on this tablet? <laughs> James just says, I haven't really thought about that. Oh, God. <laughs> Second layer, now Maria has, like, dragon wings. Hmm? <laughs> Get out of here. Anything else in here? Oh, some rooms down here. This is keeps panning back to James, panning back to Marie, and she's more and more dragging every time you pan to her. <laughs> this is what you want, James. Hydrate? Okay. Oh, I didn't see. Uh, doing fine, Kata. Gonna be having Thanksgiving dinner in probably a couple hours, three and a half hours ish. So uh, I'll probably pop off before, you know. Dragon stream is over. I love a good, good hearty meal like that. The, the meal only a mother can cook, you know? Well, it's my sister-in-law who's making it. She can make damn good turkey. Damn. Fair enough. My mother's baking a, baking a bunch of like uh, dessert. 
Ooh, nice. She baking cake and like uh, uh just a bunch of good stuff. Now my mother doesn't really have to cook anymore, which is nice for her. Nice. What was I gonna say? I really wish I had a friend like when I played this, I played this in the dark basement. Hmm. Like these games. Silent Hill 1 kind of messed me up because. Oh, yeah. God. It's so, like, low poly in the best way, you know? Yes. And, like, the sound effects, like, it was creepy. It was fucking creepy. Three. Even though it is. Oh, you gotta find. Yeah, you gotta find the middle door. Even though three is, like, scarier and everything the fact that you come up oh, there's the door the fact that you can make out stuff better makes it less scary that's like why that's why i'm a fan of playing this on ps2 it's low res enough to just be like what's what's around the corner like if you want to play the pc version of silent hill 2 that's fine it's nice and crisp and clean but that's my personal yeah. problem with it it's too nice and crisp and clean you want muddy visuals like this i didn't have these games so i just emulated them but you know they still look great because at that point they were they were starting to get pricey these games oh the pc version of this now is ludicrously expensive i mean the ps2 version hello Oh, that's so good. I give you blood to atone for the three sins. Is written on top of the painting. Beneath the painting are three square depressions. I'm depressed. Well, we do have three things to use. Let's. That was the sound. There are three ropes hanging from the scaffold. Oh yeah, I didn't check the room opposite. shells you know final fantasy 6 progress you've got the falcon and terror i have not played final fantasy 6 you might have to tell me so what the falcon those are. is the second airship. airship oh airships okay and terror is the main character uh i don't want to say too much without spoiling because Fair a enough. big thing happens in that game okay Honestly, yeah, you should get play the Pixel Remasters sometime. They're kind of perfect. Yes, 
I will probably be playing those. Honestly, you can play them in any order, though. Yeah. What room have I not? Can't go that bottom row. Oh, there's some rooms up in the northwest I haven't checked out yet. Yeah. Yeah, I might see if I can get, like, uh, it shouldn't be hard. Uh, Silent Hill, the arcade working. Just play that. <laughs> For a fun thing. I always wanted to play that. It is kind of tied to these games in that they do mention, like, this one ship that disappeared on the river, and this Silent Hill, the arcade involves that ship. Yes, I've heard that. Yeah, like you're two people that are going to Silent Hill for, two, for different reasons. Everything is normal the first day, then suddenly the town goes wacky. It's like, what if instead of being like tortured, you just brought a gun, you start shooting Silent Hill. <laughs> so then I started Anyways, blasting. I started blasting. <laughs> yeah. I arrived in Silent Hill and then I started blasting. Ooh. Uh, I'll have to look at that, that retro. Arcade emulation is weird. It requires a certain PC parts to not crash it. Oh. Oh, joy. Here's uh, something about James. In the initial stages of the scenario, he was a character who had two personalities, Joseph and James. The name Joseph was borrowed from the name of a man suspected of being Jack the Ripper, and James is derivative. Okay. Yeah. They have a whole bunch of stuff about all the characters here. Did you fall in there? Do you need help? I fall in and I can't get up. <laughs> Found this a while. Collection chamber. Sound how like it was fine and there was some Windows 10 you had no look with Windows 11. Oh. Yeah. But it was hard to get working even after getting it to run. I had to use D oh, DXWND to get it running properly. Additionally, the sound is all messed yeah. up and it doesn't seem to change the sound settings. The game locks up when attempting to. Oh, right. Uh, maybe yeah. I'll hold off. DXWND is a lifesaver for some old games, <laughs> it really does help them run properly. Magazine here. I've never seen it before. It's probably a locally published magazine. Thought you're gonna die, James. <laughs> Toluca Lake, the town's main tourist attraction. This clear, beautiful lake was uh, has another side as well. 
It may seem like just a typical ghost story that you might find in any number of old towns across the country, but in this case, the legend is true. On a fog-bound November day in 1918, the little Baroness, a ship filled with tourists, failed to return to port. A newspaper article from back then simply says, it most likely sunk for some reason. Despite an extensive police search, not a single fragment of the ship nor any of the 14 bodies of passengers or crew has ever been recovered to this day. In 1939, an even stranger incident occurred. There are many pages torn out. Many corpses rest at the bottom of this lake. Their bony hands reach up towards the boats that pass overhead. Perhaps they reach for their comrades. Hey, that's Silent Hill, uh, the arcade right there. And that's branching off into the, just a random book sat there on a the table yeah. is the basis for a whole arcade game. Oh, and pool is that? Nice. And we got some more things. Do I see bullets Okay, back did, there? Didn't you know about this is Silent Hill 1? They spot they were inspired, like, they, they didn't know about American schools, so they took inspiration from Kindergarten Cop. Really? That one. Okay. Yeah, because there's, like, areas that, like, mimic, like, the exact same, like, pictures on the walls in, in the Kindergarten Cop. <laughs> Funny. No joke. We played the demo. Right when I played Silent Hill 1 the first time, we played the demo of Silent Hill. So I've got, I a de I've got a demo that came with Metal Gear Solid. There's quite a few differences in that final version. Uh, sorry, in that demo version compared to the final version, including a poster that says that Silent Hill is based somewhere in Chicago. Hmm. Which they took out in the final version of the game. No, so the grey children were in the demo, whereas uh, in the final oh, version yeah. of the game in Japan and in Europe, they took those grey children out because they looked too much like children, where I think America's pretty much fine with school shootings at this point. It's like, yeah, whatever, put the children in, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but in Europe and Japan, they were like, yeah, let's, let's not. Let's have them the mumblers instead. Hunting rifle. Thank you. And shells. Bullets. Little room. You'd love to get your hands on the alpha that has the greys. The actual greys. Those they mm. turned into transparent shadows. Oh, right. Mm. Yeah, getting hold of alpha and beta builds of games is really fascinating. Especially if I really like the game, I will dive into one of those builds and I will just oh yeah and dissect anything I can because yeah, I just love that stuff. Like when some old Sonic prototypes were found, like hey. I, was, I was in there and I was playing around and I was running through Wood Zone and failing miserably in Sonic 2 or looking at the UFOs. Genocide City, right? Genocide City. I think that was a zone that was yeah. not even started but the title screen was in there and in Sonic 1, the prototype was released. They had Marble Zone with the UFOs in the background and Clock Clock Orc Zone. They didn't have a W in the font type. No. So they had Clock Did Orc you Zone. Know? That's just... Yeah, a replacement for Scrap Brain Zone at the time. Uh, so in the movie Wayne's World, when they're like the guy shooting like his arcade thing, yes. In the brat in the back, you can see Sonic one with Marble Zone, but the UFOs are there. Yes, you can. Yes, I love old stuff like that. It's really. Or cool. back with like Nick Arcade, Nickelodeon Arcade, and they had the beta version like Sonic one, Sonic two running. Yeah, they had the actress that would go on to play Sabrina, the teenage witch, yeah. play... Well, this is Joan Hart. Play a version of uh, Emerald... Is it Emerald Hill in Sonic 2? Yeah, it is. Emerald, yep. Emerald Hill with the Starlight Zone music playing in the background. Some enemies that weren't in the final game. and um, Yeah, it's just so fun to watch this stuff. I love that stuff. Yeah, I really do. Let's check the map. 
Where am I going? I'm probably. Oh, I'm going further down outside this door, aren't I? You played all the leaked Silent Hill 1 releases, but they're all nothing special. Yeah, nothing too early that deviates from the final game. Hello, what's this? Got ourselves a trap door. There's a cover oh, in like ground. a oh, cover in the ground. Ooh. But I can't open People it. People went People went for like the gear, like the data of Silent Hill 1. They just found an image of like several naked ladies. Oh, it. yeah, I remember that. Several naked Japanese ladies. Yes, let's. Yeah, I remember <laughs> browsing through the things and I'm like, oh, that's. That's a thing. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> There's only depression left where there was probably one to handle. I got. Horseshoe, that could be a handle, right? Totally. Can't do anything with just this. You look that up for science. Uh, yes. Metal lighter. It's like its flame is stronger than normal lighters. Wax doll, doll oh, cover. Dragon lighter. Wax. <laughs> it's lying in the cell. I don't know. Use just this. If I want to put this wax into the hole, I'll have to melt it first. Oh, okay. Fine. So combine that with that, right? Ah! Yeah. There's no point in just melting the wax. Huh. Okay, well, what happens if I take this? That. Give her one of these. Got myself a handle. So lucky. Will I jump in? Yes. that move or was it just my imagination horrible smell is coming from the hole something in the hole it looks like it's all dismembered no I can't look at it anymore hope smells un nauseatingly of rotten flesh My god. In the hole. I didn't see that. See what, James? The corpse. Uh, this corpse. Into this hole. A hole in the floor. I can't see the bottom. How far does this thing go? Will you jump down? Another hole. Do I really have to drop through it?
Oh, he landed on his keys. <laughs> so, do you know about the Silent Hill short films? Shotgun shells. I go short films no so back after silent hill 2 they released three short films and it's just very real sh weird surreal surreal like uh, uncomfortable imagery of like the monsters doing weird things to like other things oh yeah like it's it is and it isn't sexual. Oh. And one involving like, the rabbits from three just being weird and doing weird things, you know? Uh, okay. Did not know those all, existed. Yeah, they were made by they were made by the official team and they're just very, very weird and uh, unsettling. What's the scariest horror game you ever played? Oh boy. <laughs> Depends on what kind of horror, maybe. Mm. Not counting jump scares. They're cheap. I'd say Soma really got under my skin. Ooh. Soma. That's the one that's underwater, right? Um, yeah, it is. Without going too much into the story of it, yes. Oh, I have to say. Dark wood for Wolf and Back. <laughs> Fail frame two for Kata. Hmm. I have not played any of the Fatal Frame games. They are very, very, very good. They have a weird name over here. Yeah, Project Zero, right? Yeah, in Japan they were called Zero, and in Europe they're called Project Zero for some reason. I think they meant to call them Zero, just like Japan, but a mistake yeah. somewhere. Somebody put the word Project before the word Zero, and apparently that stuck as a name. So they were just like, uh, okay, well, I can't really change it now. But I will admit, I think Fatal Frame is a better name for the series, full stop. 
Oh, God, yeah. Oh, Christ, that made me jump. <laughs> <laughs> Doing this murky thing in front of me. Like, what the fuck is that? Got ourselves a cube. Oh, man, it's hard to save. What was the scariest game I played, really? Silent Hill 3 is pretty high up there. Oh, yeah, the Silent Hill games have their moments. Um, Silent Hill 4 made me jump a fair bit. Yeah. Soma was just an existen existential nightmare. Yeah, Silent Hill 4, well, it still has, like, that Silent Hill charm, but I mean, how awful it is, you know, in the good way. Ooh. Progress. Hey. I never really considered Resident Evil to be scary. You're alive! Maria, I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. Maria? That thing, it stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator, and, James, and then- James, what are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So, you're Maria? I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? I... don't know. Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. Okay. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. You just... Stay there, Maria. I'll be right there. What's the symbolism here? Is it that she's your princess and so you have to capture her? Mm -hmm. Someone's ripping like tape. Fucking with my electronics. <laughs> Wrestling is Jimmy's. Ooh, so Retro Pop, a good one from Mario 64. There's already a spooky, like, boo level, like a haunt, like a haunted house level. You'll find this room with the piano. When you get close to it, it, it comes alive with big teeth. 
Oh. And it's just a big it's a big jump scare in the best way. Oh. Yeah. I need to get around to playing that game. Oh my god. Uh Zelda or Korean Time. There's some pretty scary stuff in that too. I'm an unsettling game. <laughs> Burger. <laughs> Seeing this without Laura's theme feels weird. Oh, oh yeah, the, the opening, you know. Do, 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 do. Yes. God, I love the, I love all the vocal openings for all Silent Hill. Two, three, and four. Oh. Yeah. Huh. I say dead. Ooh, that's a weapon. Yeah, it's a. I'll say Dead Space isn't exactly scary. Unsettling and top-notch off atmosphere, but too reliant on jump scares. Yeah. I found a really, really big knife. Like a knife for a dragon, you know? Massive weapon wielded by Pyramid Head. Hard to use, but lethal. Yeah, you bring that down on anything, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Can't unlock it or use it in the remake? That's disappointing. Ah, oh, boo. But now's not the time to be using this. I have a spearhead to avoid. I got something you, you, you can listen to after Salek. So back in 2018, the voice act, the lady who did the voice for uh, Angela, did a brand new song oh. for Angela. Literally called "No One Can Save Me." Oh jeez. Okay. It's literally Angela's like it's a new song by the original actress, and it's hauntingly good. Time to give knife a try. Hello. You call that a knife? That's a spoon. <laughs> that definitely did some damage. useful. As for Resident Evil, either one remake or seven, I'd say a scary story. Oh, I've not played Resident Evil 7 yet. Honestly, you should play it. I should. Good. I wouldn't even play it during October, just play it, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want to wait till next year to see you play it. <laughs> Where am I going now? Back? this way
Aha. I can't get through here because of the wire stretched across the path. You just look at the giant knife that you have. <laughs> wire cutter will do. Seriously, the giant knife would be able to handle this no problem. Ooh, I'll have to watch that wolf come back. He's got to do seven. Me, I do want to play metaphor. Knife some more. Look, it's a great way to save ammo. So, so funny that they put that in. But it's fun. Once you get the timing right, it's so satisfying. Oh, yeah. Oh, PT. Oh, my God. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, that was very, very fucking. Oh, yeah, I did play that. That was settling as hell. I might have a PS4 in the front room that has PT on it. Don't ask any more questions. <laughs> Is PT legal on there? Did I say about questions? <laughs> I was just gonna see like your dragon starts going towards me about to eat me. It's like Ow, what did I say? <laughs> hey, no <laughs> Oh wompy one. Alright, yeah. Oh yeah? No not you. <laughs> I'll eat whatever I damn well please. Yeah, well. Ah! Not eating those. I don't have that PS4 anymore with PT. I gave it to my friend because I got the PS5, which did everything a PS4 did. And I'm like, I might as well just. My friend didn't have a PS4, so I just gave her my PS4. I think I backtracked on myself. victim for the knife. Come here, you.
what about the, the first clock tower? Uh, it's coming out again soon. I have the limited run version of that arriving at some point. Limited run, so you know, you'll get it in like a year. You'll get it in a year. Well, I think those limited run things are so cool. It's like, I just want the game. Play it that way, do you? Get knifed. I can't pick anything up while I've got the knife. Dude, you're holding a knife. I am holding a knife. Ah! I think he's mad he took his knife. I forgot he was down here. <laughs> Move him back. Could you clip that, please? I love how you got so comfortable to walk down here and dealing with all the water things and suddenly Pyramid Head. Completely forgot he was there. <laughs> now you gotta go back down there. See you later, bitch. paper on the ground it's stained with something that looks like blood and is partially illegible the body of a man later identified as Thomas Oro something lumberjack age 39 was discovered in the um lying fat Probable cause of death was multiple stab wounds to the front of the neck and a left side of the torso by a sharp edged weapon. The estimated time of death was somewhere between 11 o'clock p.m. and 12.30 midnight. Due to signs of struggle in the room and the lack of a murder weapon, police are considering this a homicide and have opened a murder investigation. Furthermore, Given the fact that the cash in the room was untouched and Mr. Oro had a history of drunkenness and violence, the police suspect that the motive was not robbery, a 
of crime, of passion, maybe. Mm. Crime of something. Okay, so apparently the rumor now is that Silent Hill 3 Remake is also in production. A blooper team. That wouldn't surprise me. I'd be happy with that. Although, if you thought people were bad with, like, people nitpicking Angela, oh boy, they're going to get worse with Heather. I just... I don't know what real women look like. I feel like equipping the shotgun. Why would you break up the shotgun? I don't know why. I just feel like it. You're feeling fancy. Daddy, please don't! Oh, speaking of Angela. Opening the map. I'm not asking to open the map at all. Angela, relax. Don't order me around! I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he, he always did. Uh, you only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. Don't touch me. You make me sick. You said your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes, she was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I never... Thank you, would have been nice. Uh, controller is telling me I am hurt. Well, you did get <coughs> a couple times. I did, I, I did get something on the head. 
Hmm. I wonder what this room means. Probably doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Probably doesn't mean anything. Are you crying? No. Will a burger make you feel better? Burger will make me feel better. Or steak. Ooh, burger. Mm, thank you. Who's a big dragon? Mm -mm. Well, hey, fellas. How's it hanging? How's it hanging? Yeah. His face is covered with a piece of paper. There's something written on it. This man was hung for the crime of swindling. Justice and revenge have been served. Yep, this man was hung for the crime of thievery. This man was hung for the crime of counterfeiting. This man was hung for the crime of murder. This man was hung for the crime of arson. This man was shot with a knife. <laughs> this man was hung for the crime of kidnapping. Six things here. Dead men, dead men swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Tongue turned blue and face gone grey. Watch them as they twist and sway. The first one killed the butcher man, then cooked him in a frying pan, served him to his hungry guests, then gave them seconds on request. The next one, with his smile and sweets, stole poor children off the streets. To men who dressed unsavory, he sold them into slavery. Ooh. Breaking into a home at night, the thief he had a nasty fright. Filled his foolish head with ale, woke in the morn in the county jail. The artist, with his daunting skill, tried his hand at painting bills. But caught in rain he was undone, when the ink he'd used did start to run. With promises of great return, taking gold he did not earn, bundled it up out of sight, quietly slipped off into night. Three houses into ashes burned, the sheriff with no place to turn, did spy a stranger to his town, locked him up and beat him down. Dead men, dead men swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Six feet long and six men wide. Round their necks, the noose be tied. I think I dig it. Notice. Only the sinless one can help you here. Mistakenly pull on a criminal's rope and your reward will be returned to you in a shape most wondrously strange. Why did you last save? Not too long ago. I'm all right. <laughs> Only the sinless one can help you here. So, which one do we think is the sinless one? First one, the butcher man, cooked him in the frying pan, served him to his hungry guests and gave them seconds on request. Next one, with his smile and sweet, stole poor children off the streets. To men who dressed unsavory, he sold them into slavery. Taking into a home at night, the thief he had a nasty fright, filled his foolish head with ale, woke in the morning in the county jail. 
The artist with his daunting skill tried his hand at painting bills, but caught in rain he wasn't done. When he did, did he used to start to run. Promises of great return, taking gold he did not earn. Bundled it up out of sight, quietly slipped off into night. Three houses into ashes burned, the sheriff with no place to turn. Did spy a stranger to his town, locked him up and beat him down. Dead men swinging in a tree, how many dead men do you see? Hmm. So it sounds the most innocent to everybody out there, or the most sinless one. Ah, uh, the arson stranger. For me. Yeah, the sheriff did just turn to somebody random and went, You, it's all your fault. Whereas... It reminds me of that Simpsons episode, the baseball one, when, like, misfortune happens to all the baseball players. The one is just driving through Springfield, and they're like, Hey, you're from New York, aren't you? A lot of unsolved cases in New York. <laughs> And they just throw him in jail. Wow. Yep. I mean, murder, theft, counterfeiting, burglary. Those seem all pretty deliberate, but mm, I think it was I think it was the arsonist personally, which I think was this rope. Mm. The rope hanging from the ceiling. Will you pull it? Clip is making the round of me getting my life shortened by a couple of days. <laughs> oh. I got the key of the persecuted. Hey. Can't turn the handle unless I first remove the handcuffs. Okay, looking at one thing from the game Freak Kyle Leak, they remade one of their old the Famicom games. Quinty? Yeah, that's cool. Hmm. Though it was unreleased. I imagine it probably would have been for like the Super uh, Nintendo Power Service in Japan, where you just download the games to cart. Yep.
else for me in this room. Graveyard. An epitaph is inscribed here. This felon drank one last bottle of ale before he was executed, and laid here to his eternal rest. on this tombstone Miriam K traitor yeah the gravestone says Miriam which is one of the two kids Walter murdered yes ah it all for I do yeah I wonder what traitor means in that yeah it's never explained oh there's Walter Sullivan Pretty sure nothing will happen from this guy. Nah. The name inscribed on this tombstone Eddie Dombrowski. Huh. Name on this tombstone Angela Orozco. Huh. Name inscribed on this tombstone. James Sunderland. I jump into my own grave. Yes. There's shinies down there. Oh boy. Here they are. Ah. Just me. Do, do things feel like they're getting a bit colder? Is it colder than a witch's teeth? Maybe. Yeah. It is October. This is true. It's being colder for me. Sick! Badass! 
You're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And the corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Eddie, have you gone nuts? I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Crazy, why are you attacking me? Mm. I have a bigger gun, giggity. There's a lot of dead people in here. Good job, James. Killed a, a human being. A human being.
Mary. Did you really die three years ago? Can I have his gun? No. No. You know the bullets for it anyways. That's true. This is definitely different in the remake. Oh. Well, are you a gun hoarding dragon now too? Absolutely not. I'm in Britain, we don't like, and we don't like guns. Suddenly you have like American accent. Mm -hmm. That's right. Hi, hi to y'all. Southern Dirk, a few images sent even the bravest into a shivering fear. It is arc is so ruined, they portrayed him as a fat, disgusting pig. Is that thing he was bullied for completely missing the point of his story? Oh my god. Yeah. What boat? I love how, depending on what difficulty you play, the controls for this boat are completely different. <laughs> Orientated. Just aiming at James, what the hell? Row, row, row your boat gently through the fog. Put you back into it. <laughs> I remember it was an old, uh, the official PlayStation magazine. They did their own art, so for Silent Hill 2. Their James is just insanely ripped. <laughs> yeah, just like fucking ripped and like clothes are getting ripped by monsters and everything, but it's like this would fit more Resident Evil than Silent Hill. Hmm.
This place hasn't changed in all in three years. How can you tell it's dense as fuck fog? Mm hmm. I mean, I can barely see it from here, and I'm literally in the courtyard. There's a fountain in the shape of a boyd. No water coming out of it right now. the shape of a bird. It's not in the shape of a bird, that's in the shape of a fish. James, you need to go get your eyes checked. Good dumb James. Hotel time. Nice, cozy, cheerful. It has a really sort of cozy ish atmosphere to it, does this hotel, but at the same time, the music is <laughs> on edge putting. Waiting for you. What's this? Room 312. That's the room Mary and I stayed in. Mary, are you there? Or maybe. They've got a hotel map for guests. There's a plate in front of the indentation. Something is engraved on it. Seat of the princess who awoke from death. Play the music box. Doesn't sound quite all right. Music box broken? Or maybe... What's this one say? Seat of the princess who fled at midnight. Hmm. And the seat of the princess who spoke no words. I don't think the little mermaid spoke, did she? No. She had the trait of her voice, I remember. Oh, yeah. Box with the figure of the fairy tale The Little Mermaid attached, found at the garden fountain. I put down the Little Mermaid music box. Play the music box. I 
That's not right. Can't leave the hotel just yet. Mr. James Sunderland, the videotape you forgot here is being kept in the office on the first floor. I did forget that videotape we made. <laughs> and into sea foam. Wow. Oh yeah, the original story falls in love with the prince, ah. but then she doesn't go through a bit and she turns to sea foam. Yep. Quite sad. Oh yeah. Disney Disney likes the happy ending, so they're going to take classic stories and, and change them, but people then think those stories are the originals, and that's not really true. A lot of those stories have really yeah. sad endings, but uh, Disney, we can't have sad endings. That won't sell VHSs, will it? No, oh, this is the 80s, I think. It's the, no, it was 80s. the 90s. Oh. Do a lot of coke and vote for Ronald Reagan. Damn it. Guess that's catchy. <laughs> Missed the egg. Something, James. What are you looking at? Fish key. <laughs> did I scare you? Yeah, you did. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here, too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? Wanna read it? But don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. That's your little thief as well. My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he is the nice to me, but please give him a chance. It's true he may be a little surly sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much, but underneath, he's really a sweet person. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy 8th birthday, Laura. Your friend forever, Mary. Ah. Laura, how old are you? Um... I turned 8 last week. So, Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could, could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura, 
I gotta find it. Laura! Oh, kids. Uh, I drew a kitty cat on the thing. Oh, the drawing done by Laura. A cat? Okay, this will make you laugh. So these are the, this is the father enemy, right? I believe they're called fathers or something. To yeah, that abstract daddy, you know, Angela's dad. Yeah. When Master Sh Master Hero Ito was asked, was it intentional design to have the abstract daddy show up again in the hotel? He replied, no. When asked why there are so many abstract daddies in the hotel, he said, because it's a game. <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> What's the symbolism? This is a game where you're running out of assets. <laughs> oh, we need to use the assets. Don't have time to model. We don't have much time to model something else, guys. You think rust grows on trees? <laughs> they removed this enemy in the remake. No. Okay. Hello to my little friend. Cardboard box, nothing inside. Share the map. Oh, I think it's I think it's the next floor for me. I wonder if I should go on and should I finish this tonight? So close. How are you feeling right now? So close. Honestly, you can probably beat this from the next hour-ish, hour and a half. Nighty night, Wolfenbeck. Good night. Oh crap, that's outside. <laughs> Locked. 
can of thinner. Can filled with thinner. It was lying inside the elevator. That's everything else down here. very much. Is that locksmith? Locked. Darn. James. Lots of bullets lying around. What does it mean? This is America. The bag is locked. This is America. Let's try the random fish key. Another key. <clears throat> There's a book here. It doesn't look like it will be of any particular use. Ah! Thank you, Kata. There's a book open on top of the desk. Looks like a medical book. I've read enough medical books. None of them ever did any good. Useful on the shelf. Tourist brochures are lined up here. Not interested in them right now. I'm the scene of Silent Hill. We have 
forward beyond your wildest dreams. Mm -hmm. We have memories that will last a lifetime. Oh, you bet they will. Key to room 204, huh? So where's that? It is behind me. <laughs> Give me a Don't kick. Wake, Daddy. Give me a kick for good measure. Employee elevator key, thank you. Ooh, we can make all sorts of rude words. Hmm. Bums. <laughs> Heck. Can't say that on the internet. Yeah, like you watch what you fucking say. Ah! <laughs> what if I could guess the word? I know, I know some of the words, but it would be funny if I guessed it. Let's try. Wasn't luck. What about love? Not love. What about time. Not time. Hmm. Don't know. Photos are scattered all over the bed. What's this? Part of a photo has been coloured over with a marker. Huh. Let's just thin that out, shall we? And the word was missed. Dirk. <laughs> and you have Dirk. I doubt it. Ah, ah, ah. Derp. No, oh, you can have derp. Um. You can have dirt. You can have Dirk. But is there rrr, like what Lucas says? Mm -hmm. No. I call shenanigans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Music box. Room service.
Cinderella. Cinderella was the princess who fled at midnight, right? Yes. to do here. Oh. <laughs> Is it here that I use the key? I can't quite remember. Why do I use the elevator key? Check in the old map. Was just the hitbox on that thing incredibly dodgy. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it is downstairs actually. Let me let me try again. The old leg monsters. You keep getting up every time. <laughs> Stay down. Genuinely not here. Don't think it is. Oh, wait, no, I remember. It's a bit of a weird name. It's not <laughs> for the elevator, it's for the door. I remember now. Cross the hall. There we go. Memos hanging here. Nothing interesting is written.
Empty shelves. Ow. Ow, my freaking ears. Mm. Wait till I want one person. Something written over the button. Wait till I want one person. And do it. It made no elevator, no grumble at me. It's like I could stall myself. He's looking at your big, dr yeah, your big dragon caboose is in my, there. My big butt. Put an item on the shelf. Okay. What's the quote? No one has seen none of the chat see my butt. No one the chat see my butt. Oh, I go look at you on Google and I see commission artwork of you. <laughs> that count? No. Maybe. Maybe? No. <laughs> Everything on the shelf. Lift is happy. You feel so naked and defenseless. Mm -hmm. Lift is satiated. Map for employees. Potatoes and onions here. They smell slightly rotten. Oh, potatoes. Boil mass and stick in this stew. <laughs> it's the last music box. Box of cookies. Tea bags and cookies here. They're all past their expiration dates. Use cans are lined up here. No reason to carry these with me. Soup cans lined up here. I guess they're still okay, but I'm not hungry. <laughs> Nothing here, but the whole thing smells vaguely moldy. What kind Vagely. of what kind of cookie is best? Brand or the type itself? I don't know. It depends. If I'm feeling cheap and cheerful, I'll go for the Maryland cookies. Ooh, what's Maryland? Just your brand over there? Yeah, just sort of generic. What you imagine a cookie to be, it's that. <laughs> That's Maryland cookies. Um, we do call a lot of things cookies over here now because Americanism. But uh, we corrupt you guys. Yep. No, admittedly, it is a cute name for them. What's cool about this area is, so yeah, I'm in the dark right now. Oh, it still works for some reason. Okay. I was going to say, in, in dark areas, you can't read the map. Maybe I'm still... Oh, here we go. It's too dark to you've read ruined the map. My aver you've ruined my immersion. Oh. Say, like, God. It's too dark to read the map. But when I step into the light, you can read the map. One of those neat little things, you know? Oh, yeah. Videotape. The 
can open it beneath the videotape. This is where we store all of our sex tapes that people leave behind. Oh god. <laughs> for written in the documents at the top of the desk. Lock is broken, can't open that. I think you got an ad break happening now. Oh yeah, we do. Ooh. All right. Well, we'll be back in a bit for the, I guess this must be the final hour of Silent Hill. I probably will be finishing this in the next hour or so. You might as well be in it. Yeah. All right. Back in two minutes for the final hour. Hey. Okie doke. The final hour of Silent Hill 2. There we go. Hopefully. They're announcing some stuff for what's coming for Final Fantasy XIV. Right. I think we're going to be getting back a dragon from Final Fantasy XI. Ooh. A pretty infamous one. So there used to be two really rare dragons. Very, very extremely tough dragons. Nidhogg and Fafnir. You may have heard those names before. Yep. High legs. They're gonna, I think they're going to bring them back. And they were infamously hard and drop some amazingly cool and rare stuff. Yeah. And they're just cool dragon designs, but like... They're so... Oh, after this. Bucky. But they're so big, like, uh, if they use their, if you stand behind them, they'll use their tails whip and just kill ev everyone behind them, those dragons. Nice. Yeah. You had to stand on their leg. That was the, the sweet spot to fight them. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Ah! Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. is a can with no label on it. What that awful John K short that you made. The John K was one of the guys who made uh Ren Stimpy back in the day. Oh. It's He a... tried to kick he tried to kick it's light bulbs. It's so, a, it's a can of light bulbs. That's a thing. Light bulb in the can. Is light bulbs in a can? Is that a thing in Japan? No. I tried to use the bar key, but it's too dark to find the keyhole. There's a lit jukebox next to you. Mm -hmm. There's a lamp on the counter, but there's no light bulb, so I can't turn it on. Oh, gee, where are you going to find a light bulb? I know, right? me. I keep killing you and you keep coming back. Hmm. 
Sir, sir, I keep killing you. You keep coming back. You're being very, quite rude. Mm -hmm. You're being inconsiderate to my ammo supply right now, sir. Think about all the little monsters who don't have bullets inside them. Mm -hmm. Got my stuff back. Feel like a big man now? Heck yeah. I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna blast these things. Big man, huh? Ah. And they're gone. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. Good one, Kata. Music box. One missed you, demand a refund. I'm sorry, my friend. No refunds. Look, throwing gems at Salik is like trying to win one of those UFO catcher machines. How are you liking uh, Real Road so far? It's interesting. It is a good story. It's just locked behind the worst, jankiest combat ever. Agreed. Jennifer with the dinkiest ass knife going, yeah. <laughs> Forget endless piano and cello. Can't forget those two little ingredients. No. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm here, Mary. One thing I might do is let's see if my nephews actually beat the Mario I got them last year. And if they did, I'll see if I can borrow it and then play Mario Odyssey or the new one, Wonder. Nice. Although I doubt it. They have a habit of, I, they kind of grown out of Mario and other stuff. Hmm. Television. It is yeah. what it is. Even when it's plugged in, all I get is snow. We see the worst channels in South Hill. <laughs> Looks like I'll be able to use it. Oh boy, videotape time. The videotape I forgot at the hotel three years ago. Silent Hill <laughs> is written on the label in my handwriting. This is definitely the videotape I recorded back then. Are you taping again? Come on. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. <sighs> it's too bad we have to leave. 
Please promise you'll take me again, James. <laughs> Okay? Laura. Mary's gone. She's dead. Liar, that's a lie! No, that's not true. She... she died because she was sick? Oof, what a bombshell, huh? Mm. Oh, this this roller coaster has just started. Did you ever hear the uh, original audio? Yes. It's it's haunting. 
Uh, this bit of the game still gets to me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, just, just everything from no. here really does get to me. It's it's intense. masterful work at this point. Yeah, I do have to agree. That said, uh, Kanan prefers like uh, one and three because of the cult stuff and she likes Heather from that game. So it really is, you know, what you like. So I'll try and get a copy of Downpour. And play that.
Well, if these old water effects, though. <laughs> ah, the PS2. Yes, furniture getting damaged. That's at least our concerns right now, Retro. <laughs> I forgot how much health it gives you. I must have like, I've got so much health. That's the thing. You're very comfortable with items in this game, if I remember. the music gets. My god. I mean, you're strong. You lose the flashlight by this point. I don't know. Press the Can switch, you? but nothing happens. for saving me. But I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserved what happened. No, Angela, that's wrong. No, don't pity me. I'm not worth it. Save me. Will you love me? Take care of me? Heal all my pain? <laughs> That's what I thought. James, give me back that knife. No, I, I won't. Saving it for yourself? Me? 
No, I never kill myself. It's hot as hell in here. You see it too. For me, it's always like this. Ah, it's a good line. There you go up. It's rather hot. I don't think I could. Oh, you're a dragon. See? <laughs> ah. read is there's been they released a bunch of comics all based in silent hill and yeah. more or less follow this whole thing of like you know james doing like someone else dealing with what james did creepy ass art hey welcome back lucas welcome back You're super close. weak. That's why I needed you. I needed someone to punish me for my sins. But that's all over now. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. Alright, you got this, Salek.
Happy Monday. <laughs> Mondays, am I right? Some of the shotgun was compared to the other weapon. T Dragon, you just destroyed James's internalized guilt. What are you gonna do now? I'm going to pick up that Dorito that Lucas dropped on the floor. Are you sure it's been on the floor for a bit now? Actually, maybe not. Maybe I'll just throw it away. Are you sure you want to have like floor Dorito? Change of mind. <laughs> Pyramid Head won't, won't move anymore. It's like he's holding something. Egg. Egg. It won't move anymore. It's holding something. Egg. Pyramid head T post to assert dominance. Yep. Damn, that's pretty dominant. I don't need this anymore. It's just a corpse now. Round indentation on the door. Choose an egg. Egg. Rust colored egg into the door. Ew. Another indentation. Egg. The power of eggs. Egg. 
Like this dragon egg I found in Ragnarok. Ooh. Look after it. Spotted. It's spotted. I think I'll take the left door. Joking, it is hard. To everyone to beat their personal pyramid head, ask a therapist on how to combat it. Ugh. Uh, dirty shotgun shells to the head. And what's my ammo situation? <laughs> ammo, yes. I'll be right back real quick and just go see what's going on. Okie doke. Mary? What do you want, James? I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? Look, I'm disgusting. I don't deserve flowers. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. W what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here! Leave me alone already! I'm no use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. It'd be easier if they'd just kill me. But I guess the hospital is making a nice profit off me. They want to keep me alive. Are you still here? I told you to go! Are you deaf? Don't come back! James! Wait! Please don't go! Stay with me! Don't leave me alone! I didn't mean what I said! Please, James! Tell me I'll be okay! Tell me I'm not going to die! Help me! Mary? When will you ever stop making that mistake? Mary is dead. You killed her. Maria? It's you. But I don't need you anymore. What? You must be joking. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. I'm different than Mary. How can you throw me away? I understand now. It's time to end this nightmare. No, I won't let you. You deserve to die too, James.
back what I mean. Oh god. Oh my god. Come on, Salik. You're gonna go out? Go out in style. Oh crap, James, overhead swing, my dude. <laughs> James. Forgive me. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. No. That's not true. You also said you didn't want to die. The truth is, I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. James, if that were true, then why do you look so sad? Mary? James. Please. Please do something for me. Go on with your life. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. 
waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. But I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me, or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, and I struck out at everyone I loved most, especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. But I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <laughs> well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James, you made me happy.
Oh, that ending. That ending gets me every time. You just conquered your past. I was. You I was. Now? I was holding that back. <laughs> good. <laughs> Fuck. That delivery is just so good every single time it gets me. Oh, and it says video games aren't art. Fucking suck it. Oh, good grief. I got the good ending. Yeah. I was wondering what ending I would get. Because I did a lot of stuff that <laughs> kind of could have gone in a number of ways, but didn't. You found this one big graffiti that had dragon on it, and you stared at it. You got the dragon in it. <laughs> Such a good game, though. Yeah. Is the oh, you beat an hour? Yeah, that was the leave ending. I wonder what my final stats are going to be. Not bad. You beat this in what three sessions? Yeah, it wasn't Ish. bad overall, yeah. I took my time, found a bunch of stuff. Generally, when I play any of these horror games, it takes generally it takes me two sessions to be one of the games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not over, though. There's still the uh, Maria sub-story that I've never played before. I still have that Ooh. to do. So Silent Hill 2 is not quite over. I mean, it might be for tonight because <laughs> I've been going for quite a while, but next week there'll be the sub story. Born from a Wish, I think it's called. Yeah. Who knows? Could do a run for the other endings. You know, after you get a chainsaw. <laughs> these these games, they're big on the new game plus. Yeah. I mean, the whole fact that one of the weapons is based on how well you did, you know? Mm -hmm. Hyper spray. 2001. Absolutely outstanding game. I was 16 at the time. Hmm. Okay. What am I? What am I? Stats? I mean, yeah. <laughs> How did I do, game? Okay. Game result. Normal, normal ending leave. Ending clear one of four. Saves 19. Total time eight hours, 24 minutes. Hey. All right. Yes. Walking distance, fine. Running distance, fine. Items 225. <laughs> oh my god. This is always the funniest part. Yeah, the enemies defeated by shooting is always wonky because it counts. The stomp counts as uh, fighting. Yeah, it does. So you're finishing off an enemy on the floor. After you've put four or five bullets in it, it's still a fighting kill. It's so funny. Boat stage time. It only took me a minute, 38 seconds to get through the boat stage. That's all right. Max boat speed, because that's the most important stat here. Two, so <laughs> 2.17 miles per hour. I think that's miles per hour. I don't. I don't. Guessing. A, a, M slash S. I don't actually know what the speed that is. It's weird how we go from kilometers up there to meter or miles or meters. You know. Meters a second. Maybe it's meters a second. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably about right. Total damage ten thirty eight. Remake has an achievement for only using melee weapons. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. 
My rank 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 47. 47. Out of, I'm not actually sure what it's out of, but. Uh, Let me double check, Max Stars. Hmm. But for a, a stream run, that's not. 10 so stars. It's out of 10. Oh, 10 yeah. big stars. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. Fair enough. Say clear data. Go on then. Yeah, it looks like. The stars are based on you need to be on normal or hard. Yeah. You need to beat the game five times. Yes. Or more. Ending good plus saves zero, one, or two. So basically a perfect <laughs> run. <laughs> Continues uh -huh. one at top. Ah! Total time under an hour and a half. So speed past everything. Oh wow. Mm. Items 150 out of 204. Mm-hmm. And uh yeah. Oh, I'll take a look at the the beginning of Born from a Wish, but I'm definitely not starting it tonight. But this will be on the next playthrough of Silent Hill 2. Wait, that was Silent Hill 1 I looked at. <laughs> Either way. Under three hours for this game. When I woke up, I was all alone. Everyone's gone. Is it because of those monsters? What do I do now? Do I fight and live? Or do those monsters get me? have any reason to go on living but but I'm scared to die I'm so afraid of pain should I run away I want to find somebody I don't like being alone But is there anyone left alive? Yep. Yeah. You play as Maria in this campaign. No idea yep. how long it is. And like I say, I've never played it before. So this will be a blind playthrough next time. And that will be next week. Right. Hey. Let, let me go to the schedule because I have something rather important to say. Ooh. So, next week. Next week, there will most likely not be a stream on Friday. Why? Because I'm going into the hospital. So, I figured, oh. you know what? Yeah, let's let's not do a stream on the Friday. Probably best for my health. We'll see how I feel, but it's most likely leaning towards no. So, 80% don't expect anything from me on Friday. But Saturday, though... We'll probably be diving back into Rule of Rose at 8 on PS2, and then on Sunday... Well, I'm going to have to find a new game to... Well, actually, no, sorry. No, what am I saying? It's going to be Maria's campaign, Silent Hill 2. Do Maria's campaign and uh, play from there. Yep. Right. That's what I'm going to do next week, so... Yeah, thanks very much, everyone, for hanging out. It was good to finish Silent Hill 2 again. What a game. Just absolutely That's incredible. A good game. Yeah, and there's there's other endings, so you know when I might feel like going for another one. But let's see. I'm going to hand you off to I'm going to hand you off to DM Lumen. DM Lumen is playing some Legend of Dragoon. That is a game I definitely want to get around to playing at some point. I have my own copy, and I will get around to playing some of these heckin' RPGs I've got building up in my back catalogue. So. Say hi to DM for me if you fancy hanging around for the raid. But yeah, any parting words from you, Dragon Friend? Uh, no 
go to Silent Hill. Seriously. <laughs> Bad for you. Bad for your mental health. Memories that will last a lifetime. All right, folks. Take you see a signpost that says Silent Hill on one side, Resident Evil on the other. <laughs> just turn around and yeah, go. Just walk in the forest. Just walk in the forest. Yeah, just just go home. Just It's better off you just stayed in bed that day. <laughs> All uh, right. Uh, thanks for letting me just chill out for a bit. Yeah, no worries. Thanks a lot for I coming along. I wish everyone a good Canadian Thanksgiving. Yes, happy Thanksgiving if you're doing the whole Thanksgiving thing tomorrow. Thank you, Lucas, as well, for also hanging out at the beginning of the stream. It's very nice for your company, as always. Horrible, dear friend. Yeah. And thank you, all, everyone else, for hanging out. It was a good session. And if you haven't played Silent Hill 2, I hope this game... I hope this game sort of reignited maybe some feelings towards it. And if you haven't played it, well, I hope that ending... I hope that ending made you feel something, because oh, it gets to well, me every single time. I mean, it's almost like there's a brand new version of Silent Hill 2 that just came out. That is Recently. that is, very, that is very true. All right. Raid incoming. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Take care of yourselves. Have a great week, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Take care of yourselves. See you Saturday. Bye-bye. <laughs>